Hi parents, I just wanted to welcome you to Back to School Night. I am Chelsea Leary, I'm the world history teacher, the honors world history teacher for your kids this year. Um, so even though this is not our typical back to school night, um, I wanna introduce myself um, and let you know a little bit about the class. And I'm, I'm looking forward to a very successful school year. So a little bit about myself, I graduated from Ramapo College of New Jersey um, I have a degree in history and education, and this summer I graduated with my master's in educational leadership from Montclair. Um, here at the school, I like to be involved. I was the class of 2020 advisor. Um, this year I'm running the debate team, so this is a new team that we're starting. Um, hopefully we'll get to compete and we will debate against other schools, either virtually, in person. We'll see how the year goes. Um, if you think that's something that your kids might be interested in, just have them reach out to me. We would be happy to have some more members. Um, I also run the Fashion Club. Um, and this year I teach World History Honors as well as US One. So World History Honors is my favorite course. I absolutely love teaching it. I've been teaching it for the past six years. Um, so I figured I'd share a little bit about our course outline so you can know what your kids are learning um, and what they can expect this year. So we start and we already finished a quick review of the Middle Ages. Um, we really just spend a couple of days on it, go over the basic, basic stuff um, and the most important things that will lead us into the Renaissance. We do the Renaissance and the Reformation and we'll spend quite a bit of time this quarter talking about those two topics and then we'll go into the Muslim lands we'll do some exploration and expansion. Um, this is probably the area that your students have the most familiarity with, but we will spend quite a bit of time talking about explorers from all over the world, um, where they went to, and maybe some countries that didn't want to send explorers or to be explored. We'll go into the scientific revolution, so we'll talk about some new scientific advancements, the Enlightenment, how science kind of influenced some of these really unique enlightened ideas, um, and this brand new way of thinking. The Enlightenment really brings us to, you know, the U.S. Declaration of Independence, so it has quite a bit of impact on our lives in the U.S. even. Um, we'll talk about the French Revolution. This is my favorite chapter of the year. We'll spend a bit of time talking about it, um, going through Napoleon to the end of the revolution, what France looks like. Um, we'll do the Industrial Revolution, imperialism, and we'll end the year with a big study of current events. So we'll take the last about month of school and we'll talk to them about all of these countries that we looked at historically where they went going forward. Um, and your students will each kind of get to pick a country that interests them, look at what's going on in the world now, and present that to the class. So it has a modern end of the year. In terms of grading, um, tests and projects are worth 40% of the grades. This is a huge chunk. Um, for all tests and projects, they'll have plenty of notice. So most projects we'll work on in class this year uh, we'll try to do like some zooming, some in-class stuff, some out-of-class stuff, um, but for the most part, they'll have plenty of time within the school day to get those projects completed. Tests I always give notice for, um, and we'll spend at least part of a class period either reviewing, working on a study guide, um, or really preparing for that test. So that's something they'll have notice on. It'll be posted on our site. Quizzes, 30%. Um, this is smaller projects. Quizzes, not as much notice, probably maybe one or two days notice on a quiz. Um, I'm not big on pop quizzes, so I know that's kind of a relief to a lot of students. Classwork and participation is huge. So everything that we do, and I tell them this day one, everything that we do in this class has a value. So they get graded sometimes just on completion, sometimes on putting forth an effort and trying to get it done, even if they couldn't finish it. Um, and sometimes for participating in discussions and we do a lot of debates and a lot of active participation that I look for. Homework is 15%. Homework generally consists of watching a video and taking notes and then we'll use that in class the next day. So my homework policy is that I will accept late homework for half credit the next day. However, after that, it's just not accepted. Um, we really use 
homework to guide the class discussions. And if you are behind on your homework, you tend to not be able to keep up in class. So it's really important to encourage everybody to get their homework done on time. Like I said, for the most part, it's watching videos and taking notes. So the videos are usually on average eight to 10 minutes um, and they're just supposed to watch them take notes. We'll use the notes to go over it. So they'll still learn and discuss everything. I'll answer any types of questions, but those notes and watching the video help us to do activities within class. What makes it an honors class? Um, we look for a lot of class participation. Um, critical thinking will do a lot of primary source reading. One of the books that they get for the year is just a book of primary sources. So we go through that pretty in depth. Um, sometimes that will be homework. Um, but we'll always discuss it. There is an expectation for being able to analyze primary sources and being able to apply a lot of what we learn to more modern scenarios. There's more independent work in an honors class, um, but that being said, I'm always here to go over stuff and answer questions and make sure that we understand things. Um, so even though we are doing a lot of stuff at home and watching videos, there's always a component to class where we review everything. Our daily routine, so the students that are in class that day will come in and they'll have some type of a do now question. Um, I'll have this up while I get Zoom set up. And we usually start, if we watched or did homework last night, we'll start with a Google form or a Google doc to review questions, look at notes, discuss anything that maybe was confusing. Um, and then we'll move into our activity. So we usually, we do take some notes, um, but for the most part that's done at home, really our day-to-day -day will consist of looking at primary sources and readings, um, group work, which right now is happening via shared Google Docs and Google Slides and um, using the virtual aspects of it, class discussions. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of virtual class discussions, so I'm going to be creating discussion boards where the students are kind of doing seminars and discussions online. Um, we'll watch some video clips. We don't have a lot of movies, but we do have some video clips we go through. And we end the day with some type of a closure question or small activity just to reinforce what we learned in class. And most importantly, I know freshman year can be a lot and a little bit overwhelming for our students. Um, I'm available and I always encourage everyone to reach out and I encourage your students to advocate for themselves. Um, but you can email me at any time. Um, I would be happy to set up virtual office hours with your student, even that if that's just to review questions, um, to go over things that are confusing them, to help them study for a test, to talk about writing, whatever it is that they're struggling with. Um, I would be happy to set that up any afternoon as well as I'm available very briefly um, before and after school. I know with the current world, I don't know how comfortable that is, but as the school year progresses, I will be in before and after school in 308 and they can always stop by. And I'm really looking forward to getting to know you guys and your students and having a very successful freshman year for them. So again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and hopefully we will see all of you in person soon.